hello it's Sarah so I'm creating this mosaic it's based on this all you need is love theme I've embossed the frame part of this um, I got questions where did I get this it's it's just um, a tile a wooden tile I guess type thing I got it at um, AC Moore or Michaels or one of those places. They have it a little smaller, I think, too. Anywho, um, painted it black, embossed the um, frame, but then, so I had a nice arrangement going, and then I thought, no, I have to incorporate some embossed tiles as well, which these are um, gold leafed, actually. So, because it just wouldn't have looked right, I think, because this is so bold. Or I was going to take some um, metallic rubs and rub some color, some pink, purple, and, you know, onto the gold to kind of pull that in to keep it coordinated. Um, but I'm liking where this is going. I did incorporate these two little birdie um, tiles that I made in the last video and these little tulips I have the three tulips the live laugh love love and then I have a few of those other flowers and butterflies and you know so now I'm getting into the nitty-gritty of it and I'm really struggling this is where and I mean it again this is all personal preference it's what my eye sees so I love the placement of the flowers that is staying. Um, I love the placement of these painted tiles. These were all just tiles that I made by imp impressing the image of a stamp into the clay and then rubbing paint onto them with my finger. And I've had them in my stash forever and never used them, so I want to use those. I also have some, uh, a very few hand painted tiles that I did geometrically, but they're just pink, pink, dark pink and light pink. So I have one, two, three right now, four. And then I have one other piece right here, this little piece. So that's probably gonna go in here somewhere. And I'm close to done. I'm just struggling now because I get it, I get it together. Like see this little cluster here is bothering me because they're all three small ones. Um, I don't want to go in too close. There we go. Uh, so I also pulled some of these music notes. They could be filler, but then I'd have to remove other tiles to put them in to coordinate. That's just how my eye sees things. Um, but I'm close. I'm very, very close. And then... When I glue, it's not, it's going to come in um, or out or whatever. Everything's going to be spaced differently when you glue. Now, like these, this gold one might be a little wide. I can cut it. I don't have the perfect shape, but I have a lot, and they're pretty thin. I don't know what I rolled these out to, but like this is thicker. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, different, a difference in, the, I don't know, I want to say like the ply, so I can cut that with scissors if I need to. Um, I really love the mushroom. I have two of those on here, and I think I need to have the other mushroom, or it's just going to be a random mushroom, you know. So that's where I'm at right now, and I just figured I'd turn the camera on, and then I'm going to glue. Um, so that's what this process is, guys, This and it's painstaking. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say the word. Oh, I also got the question, where did I get these little, um, inchy stamps? I have, well, I've put them away now, I think. I try to clear my desk off, because when it, when it looks too chaotic, I can't focus. It's just too much. So this is, like I said, this is very, um, oh, here we go. Oh, I don't have the, uh, 
actually this isn't the very same one but I, I'm pretty sure I might have gotten these at um where does everyone go for clearance stuff uh, to do hauls we are closed around here anywho guys use what you have I don't know probably I think it's Hampton Arts you know what let me I'll double check I have here we go it's not again it's not that bird one this one's called one plus one equals love so I pulled this because this had a lot of heart stuff on it but it was also very dark so this is by Inka Inka Do and that's what the little birds are by too this little bird stamp is Inka Dinka Do. I just pulled it and I, I don't know, it was separate. It was in a totally different drawer. Um, so, I guess, I bet you can see what I mean by, like, I think I might need one more gold leaf tile over here too. So you have one, two, three, four. I need another one in here. This is kind of, I think maybe move this but see, then it's too close to that. So see, that's kind of how my eye sees it. I don't love this. I might want to put that here. And I don't have another, see the only, I didn't have another heart, but I have these little flowers. So maybe I could use that as a filler somewhere, but I don't have room. So I may not use that, although this piece is a love-based, see I was going to use this. But it just stood out like a sore thumb. So I want to make it all cohesive. And I like that placement much better. I have Live, Laugh, Love already. But I think I'm going to add this other love. And I think it needs to be over here. See, the only other, like, silver metal is right here. That's like a, I don't know what that, that was from. Um... Excuse me. I have, okay, painted, painted, painted. So I definitely need another painted one. I think it might have to go right here. And then I'll fill this with something like a jewelry piece or something. Because there's definitely a gap, a bigger gap than I want. I also have this type of like thin gold leafing, I could put that there, but it, it doesn't really suit it, you know, I mean, I could, there's nothing that says I can't do that, only my rules, and you know, play by your own rules, that's the thing, um, and that, what I, one thing that I learned from um, decorative painting was, I complete projects all the time, and they're painted to my best ability they look beautiful but I don't like them like for some reason like it's not that I don't like them um, but someone else will someone else will love it and they don't see what I see so I always have to keep that in mind and and just know that this is coming from the heart as well that I really am doing my best putting all the my best intentions my goodwill you know what I'm saying so I don't want to put another one here because that's right. I like to keep it flowing. So there could be one here for sure. I think I like the shape of this one better. And then I could put, I have all these little ones, a flower, this little heart. That little heart right there would fit perfect. But I need a flower or a bug. And they're all a little bit big. I'm going to try this flower. And I'll just make this a little smaller. So I'll put the flower there. And this little gold leaf piece there. It literally is like doing a... Um, and I don't love that this is... Um, f what is that called? Like fluorescent pink? Fluorescent pink. Like that kind of bothers me, but I, I also, I don't want to move this one. I love this one on the bottom. So like that's what you'll find, like stuff like that will just drive you crazy because my eye will keep seeing, it'll keep finding something to, that I could change. And 
I don't have to change it, but it, it kind of, all right, so how do I like that? I like that better because it put a little more distance between these. And then I could do another like hot pink um, tile over here, but I don't have any more. The only ones I have are these loves. And I just think this sticks out like a sore thumb. Sometimes you'll feel like that. You know, you'll feel like it's just too much. But, I mean, you never know. If I stuck it down here in the corner, because I have one, two, three, four, you know, there's a lot of love. Love, love, love. So I think I'm going to switch this live. with this love and I made a little more room up here maybe I can put this guy because I have this I kind of want to add another silver embedded piece and put the live here I have two lives so you can always pick your preference this one seems a little dented but I like the shape of it and then I have love, love, love. So they're spaced evenly. You see what I'm saying? That's the way my mind works. Now this, oops. And again, once I start gluing, this could all go out the window because for some reason, once I press them into, into place, I lose space or I gain space in certain areas. So that's another thing you have to fiddle with. Now here, I could actually fit another tile in here. I'm going to remove this big one and I can fit another tile. So I have hand painted, 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 painted. I need a hand painted down here. I had one more, remember? Anywho, um, here it is. So I will put this in here somewhere. But I like this better because remember I had those three pieces. These three little pieces were near each other. Two isn't as, as big a deal for me for whatever reason. I don't know. But I still do want to add a gold leaf piece here. But then I can fit like maybe another flower or something. So let's see. I have butterfly, butterfly, flower. So I definitely could use another flower up here. So I have these two. I haven't, I don't think I've used this one yet. I'm going to use him. Oh, well, he's kind of dented too. Let me find a different. Do I have, I must have used him. Nope, here he is. And he's smaller. See, sometimes see like I, if you look at this, I'm just being a little bit of a perfectionist, but I, I think I dropped something on the tray before I baked it. And it hit this tile, but this one doesn't have that. And it definitely, it's more square, and I just like it better. <laughs> so I'm putting him in there, and he can fit there. And then I can put a smaller piece of gold foil. So see, this was much bigger. Um, I'm going to put, this one looks good. This one or this one? And watch this too. These two, it's flower, flower, right? I mean, I get, this is how I get. So I'm going to take this flower. I'm just going to switch these. It's hard to grab because of this little edge, the lip of the wood. Move that rub over and put the flower there. So it just breaks up all the, I don't want it to have grout lines that go in a straight line. So this will leave, now this I could make shorter, let's see, I'm going to show you, okay. So I want to make this the same size as that, the same height. Because then when I fill this, I can fill it with something like, I don't, I don't know, I'd probably just use a piece of um, pink clay. I'll have to cut something or something, I don't know. I really don't have anything small enough. I have these little pieces of gold, but I have this 
This is um, opalescent clay, so pop that in there. Just in any little, I think I'll use this to, to fill holes with. All right, so back to, so that I love much better. I fixed that, I added another tile. I'm almost there, you guys, so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I love that I added these guys in. These were just, I made them a long time ago, but I added gold to the edge. So to bring in this gold a little more. And they were already gold inside. So I have two of those and I placed them far enough apart, but then I have one, two, three, four. Those are my black clay and they kind of, I don't know, that's how I see it. Um, I'm gonna change this out again. And then like, if these are too close to each other, I can't really, I don't want to switch that, but I could flip this because these are too close to each other, but they're not. It's just what my eyes see. And like, because these, they're skipping around enough. I don't mind that those get placed too close to each other. I think this looks pretty good down here. I don't think I need to change anything here. This has actually come together. This I can keep, so I'm in the home stretch now. Now I just have this big area here. And what do I have left that's kind of decent size? I have butterflies, flowers. I have this like dragonfly, which I haven't, this was from a different batch that I did. And so I have those. And I'd like to place these, there's a couple more of these um, iris. This is an iris, a tulip. So I have one, two, three. I could probably put, I don't know, I think it looks, it might be too much, I think it's too much. Hmm. Because there's all the tulip, all those big flowers are over there and there's not one here. I could put one here. But then it starts to, it really starts to come to where I start pulling it apart too much. And I really do like how it is now. I mean, and that's not killing me to do that, but I don't love it. Like it just, it's, all right, I have to, I want to love it. I don't have to, but I want to. Um, and I push it away from me too, to make sure that you're not too close to it. Um, all right, so just this little piece here, this is going to be gold leaf. I just didn't know what, what shape I wanted of the gold leaf. Do I want it long? Because I have like, not that one. I think I'm just going to do it square. And I might need one more, or I might be done with gold leaf. See, it's kind of like, boom, one, two, hmm, not sure, not sure. So I have to fill this in. And I definitely need a butterfly, or I love this guy. He's so cute. And it might be just as simple as that. He ties in with those three. Then a flower. I really do love this little iris, but now I'm getting too many painted things. Where's my rose? I have one of these on here, but I don't know where it is. Do I? I don't see it. It's going to be this one. OMG, I just, I just, I just killed it. I think it could be done. Wait a minute. This is too much though. but it's gonna be something like this. I think I'm gonna move. I don't know if I liked the, the bird next to the bird, but it's a totally different kind of bird. Look, I just move things for a minute. And if it lines up too evenly, I don't like it. I like it to be, see, that's why he was down here. 
I know myself too well. <laughs> this is, um, boop, boop. This is what starts to happen though. It gets a little out of control. I just keep moving things. Because it's my... Um, then look, I lost painted, 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 painted. I got to add in a painted. And I could put one more gold leaf. If you put too many, it could seem like you're like getting desperate at the end instead of organic, you know, like I don't think it's too many. I just might want to add another one. I could cut some off of that one. Alright, I'm going to go off camera and just figure this out. I'm going to start to glue. I'll glue and then I'll come back after it's glued because I really want you to see the difference and where at the final, you know, your final look. See, here's a, here's a, OMG, oh, got to do it. I think he needs to be there. That's an embedded butterfly, but I like him. He's staying there. And then I just need one other little, um, I'll figure it out. Did I put that last painted one? No, he's around here somewhere. It's like a, it looks like a, um, a ray of sunshine type paint. Here it is, yeah. Um, anyway, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So, um, yeah, so I'll glue it, and then what you'll see is, the spacing is going to be a lot more specific and I'm going to purposely when I glue and I'm not going to glue on camera because it's just very time consuming and tedious and um, you don't need to see me do it. So I want you to see me do, maybe I'll glue one or two at the end and then I'll let you see how I fill the big gaps or where I leave like right there. There's going to be a nice big gap that I could put like I could probably fit a tile um, or maybe I don't want to fill it in with gold leafing. See I get very particular. Anywho, alright so I'll be back when it's glued and I'll show you how I'm going to fill the final either with um, some I'll use ball chain or gems or um, they're called uh, micro beads. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, it's all glued. I have a couple little pieces. Oops. I think this one was just a little small, so I think I wanted to get a little bit bigger piece in there, but I think I'm going to cut it tiny bit off of that um, uh, all in all I think I did pretty good spacing wise and all that you know I mean you just 
I personally don't want to leave too big a gap anywhere. So as I'm gluing, I make sure to push it into um, even spacing. So what I mean is like as I glue these, some are cl and I want to be careful because if I have sticky fingers, I will pull off that um, gold leafing and um, I can't, you can't get it back on. <laughs> I mean, I probably could. All right, let me put this in water. Um, so right now there is some um, glue that is kind of not dry and I'm just gonna take a, a toothpick and go in that area and pull it from the background. I I don't know why. I mean, as it after it dries, it will become clear. Uh, but I like to do this. I don't know. I, I'm a picker too. I do like to pick things. But down here, I started at the, at the bottom, so this is quite dry already. The glue, I mean, and um, it just helps me when I'm not looking at that those white blobs. Now this right here. I want to just, because this is still wet, as I've moved up, I can still move things around. And it's just to make sure that they're evenly spaced. I don't want to touch that gold leafing if I can help it. So I'm going to put another little piece of gold leafing in that little section. Oh, that's sunshine. She hears me. And so I'm trying to create equal spaces between all these tiles. So it just means pushing, maybe taking that up against the edge a little. I don't like all this glue. that up a little. All right, so that's kind of the way I go about the grouting grout, right? Because what the grout does for mosaic is what it's in the cracks. It's what's in the cracks. So when I look at this, I don't want my tiles, some of my tiles, to be pushed up against each other. I don't know why. I like to see that defined. And now that one's really stuck. I can't move it. I like to see a defined separation between the tiles. Again, it's all personal preference. I've made, I don't know, maybe 20 of these by now. Maybe more. Um in all shapes and fashions. See, this is really loose. So you just give it some pressure. When I glue, I don't give pressure initially. I just put it down. I just put the, I put glue on the surface, then I put glue on the tile, then you connect them, and then you move along. And then after, I come back and, and give it pressure and put it where I want it to be. It's just easier that way because going down the row, um, you may need some more room over here that, you know, you, so you want to be able to co go back and kind of get that room that you need. All right, so I think I'm done. So I'm seeing a little space down here, um, right here. You can see that great on the camera. I'm going to put, I don't know that I'm going to put any beads in here or any, um, mica beads or anything like that, I may be good to go because it's just a matter of what my eye thinks about that. Some people, I've seen some people put um, mica beads in all the spaces, like just put mica beads in there and that's a way that you can grout. It's awesome. I mean, it looks pretty. Mica beads are so... Um, 
shiny and the texture and all that stuff and that's a certain look if you're looking for that look you know um where did i just put my gluey one here it is but i'm gonna put i think this should fit nicely in there again i want it to be spaced appropriately and now my fingers are sticky i gotta get another um wet wipe because i told you the um, the gold leafing will come off if I have sticky fingers so I'm just making sure that they are and I'm going to get my tweezers maybe I can get this out of here easier yay okay so I'm just going to again put a little bit of glue on the surface which there was already and a little bit on the tile and pop it in and just give pressure and kind of put it in position and I actually think I would like it to go long ways so not that way like that oh look what I did dang it I'm gonna use a different piece so I have this little um, ceramics tool so I'll cut a different piece, but yeah, that's the thing about the, um, I don't seal it with anything, like by putting a varnish on that or anything, so I mean, that's probably why, although I'm sure the varnish could stick to me too. So I'm just trying to find a little stick of it. Does that even look the same color? Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, I only have one. Um, and then the tonic scissors work really nice. Really try not to do that again. So you've been warned that is the caution. All right, you know what I'll do then? I'll use a little piece of tissue to touch it with just to be on the safe side. There we go. All right, so that is in place. I'm going to put another bit of that down here, and I don't know that I have a thin enough one. So now is where I could introduce in, like I just pulled, these are all Swarovski crystals. But I have these gems, these are the mica beads, or the, I'm sorry, what are they called? Micro beads. So I have gold micro beads. And maybe I will just put them, but they're gonna, they're not gonna be spaced. Um, I think I wanna use this. I just didn't like that one because it was too, um, it had a piece that didn't look right to me. This is brown clay, actually, but it's gorge. It's a little thick. Ah, oh, right. I should have had this decided. I just don't mean to make you wait. Or I have gold ball chain. If I can open this little baggie. I also have bling chain. By bling chain, I just mean it's these gems, these gems. But look how gorgeous this is. This is super pretty. I have a lot more of this somewhere. Kiwi hears me and she's driving me nuts. But I think that could look so cute. I want the I want thicker. I think I'm gonna find a thicker piece of ball chain in gold because I definitely have it. I have super thin. Look how thin this is. So, I get this on clearance, guys. So, when you're in the store and you happen to see this stuff, oop, wait a minute. Ta-da! 
perfect. I mean, I, I didn't use it anywhere else, but I'm kind of tempted. It's just like five balls of it. And it fills the gap. Um, I'm standing up to look at it. I think I actually would prefer the gold leafing. I'll have to cut a piece of gold leaf and and go back and forth and see um, and debate. I think I like the gold leafing better. All right, I gotta get her. She's driving me nuts. All right, I got her. Oh, now Kirby's gonna start. It's a little wide still. Mm, I just cut it, but it's tricky. Um, I think I'm going to have to just go with it. I could sand it. If you just take, like, I'll use the um, kind of a rough sandpaper. But I don't want to rub off the gold leafing. Watch my thumb. Oh, good. All right, I'm going to have to go with that. I think I'm done with that. It just it just looks better. So I'll save that for another project. Take a little bit of glue. And my glue is drying up here. Stick it in there. Use a nap a tissue. And I think that's basically it see I just like the way the gold kind of takes you around the piece and I, I mean it could be even better but I think all in all I'm super happy with the fact that I added that to it I could I had all these other awesome tiles that I wanted to use but really to keep it because I embossed the frame which I love there was nothing else in there that was tied in with that so I had to do that um, but I love it and I signed my name on the back with a gold pen and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed that and give it a try the thing is I'm telling you these all these tiles it's a lot of tiles so you just want to get started and just get some pink clay, one block of plink, plink clay, and um, start making tiles with pink. Then make blue tiles, then make white, you know? And usually when I add white, I, like, see how, let's see, I have one, two, three that are kind of whitish, but I like to cut down the design. To, I mean, these actually... They have a lot of clay around the edges, but that's because I painted all the clay around the edges. But what I'm saying is, I don't like the clay. I like the stamped image to be the star of the show, not the clay. So even when I embed something, I really cut the clay down around the image of whatever I embed as well. Um, Alright, I love it. Thanks for watching.